Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. Today on This Is Important, I put her stuff that she needed in my purse. So I was holding stuff for her in my purse. We synced it up with Encino Man, and it plays perfectly. Is Blake sticking it up his ass again? This shit is hard as fuck, dude. Strap in. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Beep. Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. Football <laughs> Sal! Has it been a week? Oh, my God. Oh, man. Good to see you guys. Happy Tuesday. Good to see you guys. Happy Tuesday. Mm. Tuesday to Ooh, you. Yeah. It's Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> Gotta get down on Tuesday. When yeah. Stone Cold said, hell yeah, did the whole fucking crowd go, hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah. Oh, that's I don't a know. I, don't know. Huh. I would think so, but I just wonder what that sounded like. It had to be so energizing for the guy. Have you guys ever yeah. gone to live wrestling? I've been. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah uh, Blake, we went to SummerSlam together, didn't we? Uh, I've been to SummerSlam twice because my friend CJ Perry, who is Lana in yeah. the WWE. Has a straight up uh, toy. Yeah, right. she she was a, a star of the superstar. WWE superstar, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, she invited us, and we got like we we sat Diva. in the second row right behind Laird Hamilton, and uh, who's his wife? She's famous, like a Gabby a, Reese. Gabby Reese, yeah. And they were so. Oh, did you need to know women's beach volleyball players? <laughs> yes. Uh, she was yeah. so. They both were so tan. You know yeah. how like when someone. Uh, just comes out of the sun they're like hot to the touch and they like radiate heat that's how they both felt just sitting behind them it was like right. they were just radiating heat from like years of like baking in the sun their bodies are working overtime it's not yeah, right. it that's a defense mechanism they're like famous <laughs> maui residents or something like that right aren't they yeah. like known for just being uh yeah, yeah. For super beach people the it couple of uh, yeah. Hawaii. mahalo and now they got the laird they got the the laird laird's got his uh his coffee creamers his coffee creamer out there you can get it. yes yeah. exactly yes oh, what? and we all are huge fans of yeah wait l- coffee creamer Do you love yeah it? it's a powdered coffee creamer that has like more uh ocean-based products in it it comes Ew, from, yeah, like plastic. That's called <laughs> salt water. <laughs> like salt and plastic. Uh, yeah, what does that mean? Just fucking, uh, yeah, there's kelp uh, up in the... The cups are plastic, which you find in the ocean. What is it like spirulina, you know? Like, you guys know spirulina? Know. Like that no. kind of are stuff you, is Are you it. pronouncing that correctly? Is it... I, absolutely, I am. It's maybe spirulina, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing it. Yummy. I'm doing my dangdest. I'm doing my dang dust. <laughs> well, yeah, pick it's that up, layer, yeah. and send us some. We we would love to test out some products. It's good. Get the they got an orange yeah. bag, a yellow bag, and a brown bag. I prefer the orange Ooh. bag, but bag. but the yellow. Uh, look at this thing yeah, that, that oh the bug assault. Oh, I oh, got did that. You you have one of these, dude? Yeah. I've been playing oh, with those for years. So- Fucking Adam has just pulled out a weapon. He has a gun in his hands for everybody yeah, listening. I, I had a you. little bit of a, a like bug issue here in this house. <laughs> Rats, bugs. <laughs> Rats, <laughs> bugs. Birds. And I was telling McBride this. He's like, oh, I'm going to get you something. This bug assault gun is the fucking shit. It's yeah. so cool. Yeah. I, I, it's I also dangerous. It. Yeah. I got it. And then my kids were like, can I see it? And I go, yeah, for sure. And, it was and like, they just shot each other in the <laughs> eyes right like, away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait, brother, wait, 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 wait. My brother shot me the other day with the salt. It didn't hurt that bad. Hold on, hold on. Explain it to me, please. I've never seen this item. So it's you fill you fill the top up with that's uh cocaine. No, that is uh table <laughs> okay, salt. Yes. Right right there uh, in the top. And then you just cock it. When a bug comes by, you straight up shoot it and they flop out of the air. It, it right. shoots out like a, you shoot it with salt. Like a shotgun. Yes. It buck shots salt. Yeah. Yeah. It Sick. spreads. It's like when you, because you can get uh, rock salt rounds, right? Or is that just from Kill Bill? Uh, no, you can do that. That yeah. seems, yeah, no, that's real. real. No, that's yeah. very it's real. Wait, are you doing this in the house, Adam? So there's yeah. just salt all over your house? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That's what my brother does too. My brother, I, I asked my brother the same. I'm like, what are you Your crib is doing? delicious. <laughs> like, what are you, why are you putting salt everywhere? He's like, I don't care. <laughs> well, then you just, then you just let the Roomba do its thing. Baby. Adam, can you, uh, is it loaded <laughs> right now? Is it oh, loaded yeah. right now? Uh-huh. Can you shoot yourself like in the arm, point blank, or will that, do something. I don't know. I've never shot. I mean, it comes out very fast. I tried to shoot my food and there was, I tried, it was like point blank. I shot, 
I shot my food to like salt my food this morning. Oh, that's right. a good idea. You're the new salt bag. There was just one bite that was unbearably salty. <laughs> right, because it just embedded it in the yeah, meat. Yeah, it was so <laughs> goddamn time. salty. But you know me, I'm a fucking salt boy, so I, I enjoyed it. Even on my pancakes. I got it for... When we're dining outside, and we're dining outside, there's like bees sometimes, so I got mm. it for that. And I'll just oh. be like, boys, mm. duck, duck and cover. I like that you guys don't eat outside. You dine. Yeah, well, like that's that. fancy. That's al fresco, bro. That's yeah, right, dude. He dines. I'm surprised. Are you willing to shoot yourself like in the hand live? Yeah, Can we see that? Are yeah. you scared like me? <laughs> I mean, I'll shoot myself in the chest. You're going to have to ask again? <laughs> I don't want to watch this. I do. I don't want to watch this. No, no, not do, bear, do your bear chest. Do your hand. Bear chest. Why my hand? No, Why on your tongue. Do your tongue. Do your tongue. Do your tongue. Do your tongue. Oh, yeah. no, don't do that. Oh, yeah, 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 don't yeah, yeah. do that. Don't do that. Pizza, do it in pizza. your bear chest. Do don't your throw it on your shirt. Wait, ooh. Why? I want yeah. you to see it. So I'm wearing a black shirt. So you'll yeah, see it. Yeah, this is going to oh. be cool. Yeah, shoot okay, on the tight, black. Tight. It's black with white. Well, whatever. Here, what, do you want me to turn my shirt inside yes, out? Yes, please. Or back, backwards? <laughs> no. So yes, is, turn it backwards. No, this is. Well, this is. I feel like shoot your shorts are black. I don't think it's a. Can I shoot the body? He's Can definitely on gemstones right now. I know I your character arc. Look at this. My boy leave, is fit I think as you a You should fiddle. leave the shirt off. Leave the shirt off. No, because black we'll is good. Red. I want to see the impact. Right now, the salt is not going to see anything. It's not going to stick. Dung salt day. doesn't stick. Okay. Okay. It does if it's coming out Ready? super hard. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Look, it's, it stings. Yeah, that stings, man. That, <laughs> and I kind of yeah. just grazed myself. <laughs> See, this Goodbye. is what I'm interested in is the red mark. Now there's and, salt le and let's see. We have the black shirt with the salt. Can we see the salt? Yeah, exactly. No, no. This it kind of just bounced right off, but yeah. uh, kind of not worth doing it. But <laughs> Science brains are fucking dead over there. Oh, my God. Now do your tongue. Feel free to buy uh, yourself one of these. Bug Assault. We're, they're not a sponsor, although I would love if they were. Yeah. It's science. This is something I fully support. Yeah. Murdering bugs. <laughs> and also, I wish it was a. I wish there was a sniper rifle because I would kill a cardinal this way. Mm, I'd science. murder a cardinal this way. You could try. <laughs> no, I bet it would. I'm not going to revisit that one with you, buddy. It won't go that far. I mean, I have to. They fly away as soon as you step out of the house. They know. Mm, catch they know. the cardinals. <laughs> Don't kill them. Catch them. I, 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 Kyle, how are you supposed to catch a cardinal? Yeah. Good luck. How? That's the fun part. I think that's a. That's a. Is it? You give an altar boy. Because having them not shit on my truck is the fun part for me. Yeah. Okay. So I've been pu I've been putting the um. Park your truck inside. There's no inside. There's no garage. That's not mm. the cardinal's problem. That's yours. <laughs> pizza, pizza. So I tried, to, I tried to put the uh, mirrors in. They were here first. Thank you, Blake. I tried to put the mirrors in. The like mirror, I, I popped the mirror in. The right. whole mirror fell out of the mirror holster. Right. Oh. So now I have to like put that back in every time. It's a whole fucking ordeal. What? Wait, you yeah. broke it? Do you think the cardinal like unscrewed it? Yeah, I broke it. Oh. I think the cardinal well, it keeps picking at it. It's probably not good for the mirror, motherfucker. I think it knows exactly what it's doing. Is this a thing that happens to everybody else on the cast too? Or no? I think it's just my location is Cardinal Heaven. I don't know why. I'm I'm at the tip of this island. Well, didn't we say that this was like your your the tip of the your grandma? The didn't you say no. it was like wasn't the cardinal related to Arvilla? Yeah, the well, uh, that was my favorite. Uh, she, it was her favorite bird, the cardinal. Mm -hmm. And they say that a cardinal is mm -hmm. uh, a dead loved one coming yeah. back to visit you. Mm -hmm. I don't know why my grandmother keeps shitting and uh, <laughs> shitting all over my truck. <laughs> well, think about it. Think about it. Because she's a cardinal now. She's a cardinal now. Yeah. <laughs> I bet there's something. Uh, no, true. No, me, me and Arvella were real tight, dude. She would not shit all over my truck. Did you move away from her? It's a prank, dude. Then why is she doing it? It's a prank. Did you move to the West Coast? No, oh, I did. Oh. I brought her out and and let her walk the red carpet on Pitch Perfect Two <laughs> World Premiere, and she was interviewed by E Entertainment Television. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, I paid her back. We need to pull that interview up because I bet it is good as hell. Soundboard. We absolutely do. I don't know if I ever saw it. Jason Kennedy. Jason. And Kennedy gave the interview. Mm -hmm. Wow, great yeah. poll, Adam. I'm impressed. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Dude, I had the same problem in my neighborhood. There was like a finch or something that was attacking everybody's mirrors. And like, bird talk to new luggage talk. <laughs> Hey, vote now if you hate pickleball talk, <laughs> luggage talk, or bird talk more. You're, you're go ahead, though. A, a finch? Go ahead. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'm all about killing Can these I birds. I know some of us aren't 
about k- killing birds. Uh, Get out of town. But I, if it flies, it dies. That's my whole motto. Whoa. <laughs> If it flies, it dies. Omaha. Who is that from Top Gun? God damn. No, that's <laughs> yeah, that saying that I made up, I, I want to say. <laughs> Go ahead. Hangman, Iceman, who said it? <laughs> who said it? <laughs> well, who speaking it of down? movies, okay. Kyle, and, yeah. and this is 2000 and late, like mm-hmm. that, that joke we were doing last week. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, right. I remember mm-hmm. that. But I finally went and saw uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. It's a bagel. Ooh. And it's have, a bagel. We talked, have we talked about this on the we, podcast? No, just, we can't. We can't. Don't spoil. We can't. N- there's no spoilers here. I have yet to see it. I do want to see it. I Definitely go see it. Have you seen it, Blake? I haven't. Oh, my God. I just noticed that it is now available on my TV for 20 bucks, and I'm going to watch it. There's, don't nice. spoil, but, you know, it is what it is. This let's, is what we have. Check. Well, we have to talk about this. I'm in. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, we do. The main character's name is Waymond. Waymond. Yes. Is a and, 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 go ahead. Waymond <laughs> is in the movie. Wow, dude. Oh, so they I'm for so sure, the, the Daniels the, oh, who are the guys that directed it, right? And yeah. they had to, they have to be Workaholics fans, right? That's two Wayman fans. I mean. Or yeah. Wayman fans, specifically. <laughs> At yeah. least Wayman fans. They're they're fans of Wayman, obviously. They're stands. Yeah. But they also had, uh, uh, did you notice, sisters, that the car in the movie is like Red Volvo. A, is a Volvo, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's a red, it's a maroon Volvo. Hot, 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 hot. It's a maroon Volvo. And it's like the cool version that I remember we were like, well, wouldn't we want the cool one? And we're like, no, they drive the like Wait, 90s, the shitty one, yeah. less cool one. 87. So is this movie like an alternate reality of Diane, Wayman's wife from Workaholics? Yes. Yes. I got to watch it. I got to watch it. It is weird that Diane's not in it. I will <laughs> say that. I felt. Uh... Also, there's a big office setting, like the whole thing's in like an office. So it's got a cubicle vibe, which is. Okay. There are very Workaholics-esque go there set piece joke things. I like this take. I like this take. Fights, fight scene, Kyle. The fight scene. I love it. Well, let's reach out to the Daniels. Let's uh, let's have them be this the second guest on the podcast. That'd be cool. <laughs> I love it. Or the it's third. a good it's a good movie. It's fucking cool. It's heavy. It's I, yeah. Yeah, I heard it was I really see cool. It. What is that other movie? I think it's an Indian movie. RRR. RRR that people yes. are like freaking out about. Yes, that yes, I don't even yes. know how to watch that movie. Like I don't either, but people love it. Did you just say it's an Indian movie? What did you just say? An indie movie? What What or- did you just say? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, Indian? They're in, I think it's from India. <laughs> oh, I thought you were trying to say indie because we were coming. And I was like... <laughs> Indian comedy. <laughs> no, I think it's a little bit of both. <laughs> no, I think it's like a Bollywood. Like, I don't know anything about it. Smash hit, baby. Yeah. R R R R R R. Yeah, people are claiming it's a little bit of everything. I really want to see that. But I was working on set of a movie that I can't quite disclose yet. Okay, it's another. Oh shit, dude! Blake can't talk about anything that he's doing. <laughs> no, no, no spoilers. Welcome to my world. I just do it. I know you're crazy. Who cares? They're not gonna. They're not gonna fire you. You already shot the thing. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to get in trouble, dude. The Rock will get me. No, The Rock's not in it. I'm just kidding. Oh, come on now. Uh, I was looking around at the extras in the crowd, and none other than Wayman Lee oh, yeah. was out oh, there, my dude. God. Yeah. Yes, dude. Yeah. So I I got to chum it up with Wayman. It was so good to see him. We Facetime Diane. He like. He was so pleasant. He was so stoked to see me. He was just asking about our movie. He was definitely like, dude, it was just so nice. He's like, dude, we're family. We're family. That's we it. We are. It wasn't a show. It is, it is crazy coming up yeah. with everyone on Workaholics. It's no matter what in our career, the uh, yeah. you know, the longer we go, mm-hmm. uh, th- those people are the people that you look back at. And I feel fall. like I could be on another show for like 10 years and it still wouldn't mean quite the same as – as yeah. workaholics, dude, you know, it was, was wild. And you run into crew members, and oh yeah, and that kind of stuff on other productions, and you're like, holy shit, what is going down? Yeah, man, yep. it is so cool. I I think that was like the one thing while we were doing the show because it was our first show that didn't quite register until it was over. That like you really do, and it, maybe it's one of the hardest things about Hollywood is like the longer you're on a project, the more you like forge bonds with everybody who's a part of the show, right. and when it ends. You never know when you're going to see him again. You hopefully your paths will cross cross again and it does happen, but like 
Just the day to day. Yeah, it could be it could be years. <laughs> well, I go dancing on Thursdays with Bango. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I Bango, love that. Our, our a camera assist <laughs> well yeah i mean it's true it's like it, it is because you do form like some friendships Bango. that will transcend just going to work yes like like mike lovanos yes he came to your bachelor party and- who was our uh issue. yeah he he's yeah. he's Allegedly in the crew for life but but you know there's some, some people it, they're they're work friends and and you love them, and then when a project wraps, you're like, I'm going to see them for all the time. And then you don't see them for like five years, and you'll just run into yeah. them at like the Ralph's grocery store. And you're like, holy shit. Right. Yeah. Do you love him? Dude, I swear I saw – so we had a really good uh, cost, head of costume department, Jerry – what was his last name? Jaeger? Jaeger. Yeah. Sick, bro. Yeah. I'll take a Jaeger for that, brother. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, we'll wait. Go ahead. We'll I th- wait. <laughs> There's one around here somewhere. Okay. I think I saw him at the mall, but – there were, it was masked. It was still a mask time, so I yeah. didn't say what's up. I'm, but he's got that walk. I know. I'm like, that's you Jerry, know. dude. Yeah, he's got that Jerry strut. Yeah, you know it was him. He was at a damn like Macy's in like Burbank, and I'm like, that's Jerry. I know. I should come. I should go up to him. Jerry's got one of those walks where like, if it was a clothing store, yeah, he's leaned backwards and his feet are far ahead of dude, him. Dude, I love Jerry. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jerry, it's a saunter. It's like a do 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 do. That's right, Kyle. It is like that. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle. So you're saying he was kind of like the stand up bass if you were to play him. Mm-hmm. That's how I think of the lean back walk. Yeah, mm-hmm. stand up bass. This might be a little bit of a departure, but did you guys ever listen to the Peter and the Wolf like orchestra when you guys were young? One thousand percent off the chain. Yeah. Oh my Wait. god, dude. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. So one I don't know f- what you're talking about. What is this? Uh, what is this? You know it if you heard it. I have it on vinyl, dude. I have it on vinyl right seri- back there. Yeah. yeah. Kyle, yeah. do you have this memory with me? Maybe it was elementary school. We went to the Concord Pavilion and watched a live orchestra play the Peter and the Wolf thing. So Adam, yes. basically what this is, and you can look yes. it up on iTunes, like Apple Music or whatever, is you it's too. a it's this whole orchestra where each um, character or animal is represented by a, a, a instrument. So, like the cat is like a flute, and like the wolf is like, Vroom. and they each have their own theme song. You would know it from like a Christmas story when the bully kid shows up. They play the wolf music. They do, right, yeah. Right. It's iconic. And the hunters is like, okay. Oh, sure. Yeah, I know that noise. I just didn't know that it was. From Peter and the Wolf, and people like listen to the soundtrack of Peter and the Wolf. <laughs> Dude, so okay, yeah, I got like really high. Me and Sam were doing a puzzle. I'm like, I just and we synced it up with Encino Man. <laughs> oh, I just <laughs> plays perfectly. I threw. It back. Yo, that's <laughs> fucking fuego. That would be so tight. Encino Man rules. <laughs> Encino Man rules. Perfect. I threw on that Peter and the Wolf like yeah. orchestra, and I was just like, this shit is hard as. Fuck, dude. Each yeah. character's it's it's just sick, dude. Classical music's kind of fucking sick. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah Go off, go <laughs> off, King. Dude, go Isn't, off, King. Please. Go off, Playboy. So this is your yes, luggage sir. talk, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't there a version where there's someone telling a story? Because I feel like David Bowie is on a version of something for peanut. Oh, I know at the very beginning they like give you the rundown. They're like, we're gonna hear the like instruments. This is what okay. represents this. And then it goes. Right. And then, then like maybe Bowie did that. I don't know. But then you're supposed to imagine. Then you imagine. Then you it. imagine. Uh, maybe there is a bit of a narration through the thing. I have a little bit of a memory at the Concord Pavilion that there were they did like a hybrid mashup or something. There was somebody. Yeah, I think it was Lincoln Park Jay Z. Oh yeah. my god! Allegedly, allegedly, it and might have been the first rap rock actually. Okay, the cat is the flute, but the goose is none other than Jay Z. Uh, Come on right. out. <laughs> 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 are you guys, I know Blake and Kyle and myself are the same graduating class year of 02. 02. Yeah. <laughs> are you guys going to your 20 year high school reunion? Yes, sir. Because mine is coming up in a few weeks. Oh, dude, um, I don't know the info on all. I haven't seen an invite to that, but I would pull up no problem. I bet, I bet someone it's, you're, you're going to be, check the inboxes because I bet it's coming within, usually they do them in August. How do you know so? We are what? doing ours the first, or the second week of August. We're going to do my dad's uh, one year celebrating not having cancer party yes. in the Ozarks. 
And then uh, that, that next week, I'm going to drive up to Omaha and do my 20-year high school reunion, which is going to be so weird. <laughs> that shit's yeah. important. It's going to be dope. It's going to be fun. I haven't yeah. been to one. Adam, are you on the committee? I, yeah, I was. So technically, I was... It sounds like it. you're like, we send these out. <laughs> well, I was supposed to be the one, technically, like my role was like like the PR representative. So like my whole job was to plan parties and talk on the uh talk on the intercom so that and like do the pep rallies and you shit. mean in high school in high school yeah and so you are tasked with this that later way. my job was to do the 10 year and do the 20 year but any great leader knows delegating responsibility is like a big part of it right so that's that's what i did in the 10 year and that's that's what i'm that's what i'm doing now but yeah i'm, I'm like a little it's it's 20 years is kind of a, a weird one it's a long time it, it's so fucking long yours is a little exceptional i mean there's literally like an adam divine day in nebraska like like, it's definitely... Yeah, they're you, helping me out. You're going to have to, like, really bring it, dude. You're kind of, like, you're yeah. almost the face of the city, brother. This dance? Yeah, you're going to have to <laughs> jai ho, baby. It has to happen. People are waiting for it. You know that dance is coming out? The, t <laughs> the tornado? <laughs> yeah. We're, We're just kind of jerking off two giant men. That's yeah. sort of my dance. Very short man, short king. Or just kind of sneak in and hang out in the corner with your really down like bros and just be like, yeah. I hope so. I'm trying to get all my like really close homies are like, no, I'm not going. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, don't. You have to. But they still live there, right? I hella yeah. get that, by the way. No, most, uh, all my like really close friends moved away. I hella get not going. Yeah, or like into the deep forest. I don't Kyle, nobody cares, bro. I, I don't. Why, why would, I don't know why I would go. Human connection, right? Yeah, to see like people you haven't seen yeah. in years. Like there's a handful of people that I would for sure would like to see, but like when I go back to Omaha, they're not on my like list of five people that I call. Right, right, yeah. right. I mean, maybe to experience the time warp. That's why you go, right? Just to be like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? Yes, it's kind of to see like, whoa, how bald is everybody? A lot of people are really bald. 20, everyone's bald, yeah. Like acid, like take acid before you go or something so that shit like makes fucking sense. Oh, shit. Oh, sick, Kyle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For the first time, I take acid. <laughs> Everything's a drug trip. Something's got to happen. I'm still going to send it. <laughs> I guess the second time. I took it on accident once. That's something's got to happen you know like you got to do something like that here's my thing like i haven't tapped in with facebook in over like i don't know it must have be like five to seven years so i yeah. have completely lost touch with anybody from high school i've been running your page don't worry it's up <laughs> yeah how's it going <laughs> it's really good <laughs> thanks for the birthday wishes <laughs> yeah. i think you guys know this but my mom runs my facebook like fan page account yeah where she will talk to people from my past as if they're me, and then will hit me up and be like, <laughs> uh, Keegan Niederdeppi says hi. And I'm like, oh, what? what are, yeah, and then she'll like just talk as... She also says the one time she... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. Yes, just, allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. No, she, it's like, sh she'll just like have conversations with people from my past as if the, she's me. And then she'll post d weird things like... Uh, on 420, she wrote like, happy 420, happy holidays. <laughs> and I'm like, mom, what are you doing? Yeah, Why she knows what she's doing. Smoking! But she posted Smoke like three days late. Me. It was like after the fact. 423? She, she doesn't yeah. know what she's doing. <laughs> 4, 423, <laughs> throw the 420. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> That's little... how high I was on 420. But yeah, no, Facebook, I feel like really killed the, the high school reunions because you, you're able to stay in touch if you want to. You could stay in touch with right. people so easily. When's the last time you guys have been on Facebook at all? I go on. I go on. I go on to check my folks because yeah, my folks run a page. They're they're RVing right now, and so they they keep everybody up to date that way. Why don't they go? Why don't they get an Instagram? What are they doing? Uh, most of their friends are on Facebook. Well, because all their friends. Yeah, that's right. My parents yeah. also are on Facebook and aren't really on Instagram. Because none of their friends are on Instagram. Right, right. So my, it makes my mom like bummed because she's a little face, Facebook queen that when she posts on Instagram, it gets like three likes. But then on <laughs> Facebook, she gets like 150 likes. There's like 40 right. comments. She's like in the mix. Yeah, yeah. I so, go once a year and apologize to everybody who's like written me an email being like, I just watched so and so or whatever. And you're nah. like, I never come on here. Thanks. Hope you're good. That's got to be a rough like couple days fielding all those. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's like, dude, homie died, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, there's like ten, 10. I don't even respond to anything on Facebook. I'm, I'm truly, I just go on and look at my parents. And my dad posts every day, <laughs> like a, a, a sunrise. And just look at my parents. I just like, go and look at my parents. Call them, dude. Just call them. <laughs> my dad posts every day, like, very funny, like... Photos of sunrises, and then sure. he tells you the weather. He does that on Instagram. Yeah, he's on he's on IG with that, but sporadically, sporadically. Oh, so he's like super into it on Facebook. Every day on Facebook, he posts a damn sunset. It's damn that is so wild. But what's crazy is people can post onto your timeline or whatever, right? Facebook sucks. I don't know. Facebook fucking sucks. I remember going on and being like, "Who? What are all these things on my timeline that other people posted?" And I had to like. You know, flip a switch to to stop that. But yeah, it, that's why I dipped. Facebook got so bad; it was just like terrible. It's just complicated. Yeah, well, it, yeah. It, it got for so sure. com- How are our parents navigating the most complicated of the social media? Very strange. Don't get it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's that tricky. But but it is. There's so many like little. Yeah, Adam, it is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I, I couldn't even figure out how to plug my microphone into my computer uh, before we got on. So yeah. I'm not the one to say something isn't complicated. You need I, I find Facebook fairly easy, but they're just uh, trying to do too much. Instagram's yeah. like you post a, a picture or a video. And then even they when they came with stories, I was like, I'm never going to do this. And then because we do this every week, I'm like, all right, I'm going to promote so that my timeline isn't just like our faces constantly. I'm like, yeah. that's when I'm gonna do the stories. And now I'm hooked. Yeah, I'm right. Hooked. It's kind of fun. You oh, can yeah. like go off. Are you guys deep in the metaverse? I haven't been on in a minute. I gotta get back in the metaverse. What do you mean by that? On the Oculus? The Oculus on the Quest. Oh no, no, no. I can't get on anymore. What? What do you mean? I was watching basketball. I'm like, uh, I'm break out my uh, Oculus and try and. Oh, that sounds stressful. Figure it out. And then it was like, oh. you got to log in with Facebook. And now I can't. I don't know. Oh, because it's all meta. <laughs> Fucking Facebook, man. Go God. away. Yeah. Damn it. D- are you on it? Is yours working? The last time I tried it, but it was like when I was shooting that movie in Atlanta. So it's been a while now. So it's yeah. been like over six or seven months. I got to like update the software or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, that's the, that shit gets so annoying. It is so fucking cool. It is. It really is really, really cool, like, what they're doing. And during the NBA Finals, they were showing so many, like, uh, Oculus commercials. It got me juiced to get back on the, the Oculus. Yeah, that's what got me on it. Get back there, baby. Just to, wa- to watch sports? Is that what you would do? Yeah, you could, like, sit courtside uh, at games. I would. I think that could be kind of fucking dope. I still have never figured out how to do it, but I will You do could it. go to, uh, like, comedy clubs and, like, watch acts, and then other people really? will be there. Uh, and you can, like, talk to other people that are watching. Like, this one guy I was standing next to. This guy's not funny. And Yeah, no, and this guy. <laughs> Boo. It's just haters. <laughs> if you could heckle the comedian through Oculus, that'd be fucking wild. I think it, they're pre-recorded, but you're just there watching, and you're mm-hmm. watching with other people. Yeah. And I'm talking to this guy, and uh, he was like, oh, shit, this guy's funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I was like, I was like, oh, yeah, who else do you like? And he's like, listen, all the comics he likes, and they're like all people I know. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, I'm like what do you think of Adam Devine? And you're like, nah. He goes, ah, he's all right. Mm. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, that's I cool. You, were, you didn't sell yourself real quick. You go, well, he's he's working on some new stuff. No, man. That's he's working great. on new stuff, and uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, give him a shot, dude. Yeah. I, he's really good actor. He's, yeah. he's, mm-hmm. he's mostly he's cool, man. Just check him out, man. <laughs> yeah, he's doing his movie thing right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you I was like fishing. Adam, when's the last time you did stand up, dude? Forever. Was, yeah. For- Ever retired? You retired? Are you retired? You want to announce your retirement or you want to go retirement? I haven't. No, literally the last show I did was my special in uh, Omaha. I was there, brother. It was a great show. Yeah, like over three years ago. Are you itching? Or are you like, yeah? Yeah, it's the end of eighteen, right? So almost four years ago. Mm, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it was crazy. I was like planning on taking a year off just to be like, because I was going pretty hard there for a while, doing a lot of tours and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to take a year off. And then the pandemic hit, and then and then yeah. and then stand up got really not fun. 
you yeah. just might get tackled or stabbed. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because all all of my comedy is transphobic, obviously. So uh, it's like, how, how can I even? <laughs> right. How can I even perform? I did. Adam did personally just in my living room do an hour long specifically slamming the yeah. trans community, and I was like, this is nice, dude. Yeah, I stand with Chappelle. Yeah. <laughs> wow, dude. And I told you, I said, this is gold. <laughs> I yeah. just wouldn't do it. It's too. It's too. It's too actually hot. too funny. It's too right. funny. Uh, you can't. You can't perform it anymore. Right. Uh, just hot. But no, I think. I, yeah, I would love to when I when I have time. I've just been. You know, if you're done, working. maybe one. Uh, maybe one of us should uh, start getting up. Yeah. There, you know, I would love. Hey, it's not. Yeah. We could all do it. It's not like mm. one of us can do it and the rest of us can't. No, no. I think just one of us at a oh, time. Okay. It's too hot. It's one of us and it's Kyle. It's Kyle. I tell you what, the I next tour it. I want to go on isn't a stand. <laughs> tour it's a this is important <laughs> that shit's tour. important yes that shit's important let's that do that next unreal. summer let's put that yeah. shit on the books next summer bro a stage big enough for a pickleball court Ooh. yes i i will i'll no even that's in the crowd we have a luggage uh set up in the in the like <laughs> yeah. we can contact to me and maybe they want to sell luggage in the lobby brought to you by to me <laughs> as, as people are walking in i love it samsonite pickleball yeah. challengers in the crowd that's what i want who wants to challenge goodbye the luggage Dude, company I, <laughs> away would for sure be like we're on board. Yeah, I'd love that. Guys, you guys are selling this tour so well. There's live pickleball and we're selling luggage. <laughs> yeah, but it's special. This is important luggage. Yeah, for the community. And we're only serving. There's no food. Uh, only uh, salads. Right. Yes. Kyle? Goodbye. Yes. With beans. There's beans. You can. Uh, there's like a photo booth with like cardinals that get a shit on you. And you're like. <laughs> Dude, Goodbye. this would be the sickest like little fest, bro. TII yeah, yeah. fest. Yeah. It's an important oh festival. My God. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's great. This festival is important. Dude, I like that it's uh, you're planning a whole festival? Are there other acts? <laughs> yeah, wait, no, no, it's just I thought it was just No, but there's uh, all these okay. there, Well, you're talking about all these things that you could do. It feels like a carnival, I guess. Well, that's just like when people are buying right. beer like in the in the lobby, you know? Yeah. Like we're doing we're doing medium-sized theaters, 2,000 yeah. people. Well, okay. Well, we're going to be doing all four of us as the headliner, but then all of us are doing stand up. We're doing our own <laughs> stand up beforehand, okay? Oh shit. Tight 5, tight 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. a bagel. Two, two minutes each. Tight two jokes. A little meet and greet. I don't know. That could be cool. A little outdoor, little outdoor fest. Ooh. <laughs> outdoor, yeah, or indoor. It's all good too. We got Lavanos cooking meats on the side, Ooh. bringing us meats while we uh, chat. We got my stepfather's beef jerky. We're selling Ooh. it out of stand. Yeah, Ooh. we got it Dude, all. I, absolutely. Love it. <laughs> what else? 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 Um, arugula. You know what I mean. I'll have some fresh arugula. We already said that though. Ooh. Yeah. By the way, we dropped the ball what? because um, there is a raising canes that opened in Dude, Burbank, California. I know. I saw that it. is just a fucking madhouse. Yeah, I mm. saw that. It's a mega hit. I mean, has shut down the streets of Burbank. Can we say that I was 2000 and early? You guys know who opened it, right? Who did? This SNL writer. Who did? <laughs> An SNL writer. Wow, opened it. dude. <laughs> no. Fuck. I was they like, stole who? the idea from us. Yeah. I was 2000 early to wanting to get on the Canes train and yeah. be a franchisee owner. Yeah, dude. You should have followed your gut. You dude, were. I really know. should have. Where is it? Olive? Olive in Burbank? Dude, yeah. yes. All, so we used to have... They got a nice little thing happening right now. This is the where the original Workaholics offices were, were on <laughs> Olive in Burbank. That was our first place where we posted up. And they opened a Canes about uh, two blocks down. And the line has been... In, there's a police presence. I know. Mm. I saw the security. I Did you film it, Blake? Or was that like a viral video? No, it's been on the news. It's been on the news. So Blake sent that to us, and he was like, this isn't like to get on the freeway or something, or just traffic. This is just to get in the canes. It reminds me of the in and out line on yes. uh, what Sunset, that you're just like, Jesus Christ. Ventura's right. got a big one always. Yeah. Dude, because there's a Chick-fil-A like up the block on Olive and yep. that goes off. Dude, 
Ch- fuck Chick Fil A. Yeah. Canes yeah. is just bringing it, dude. Nah, Canes all the way, mm. baby. It kind wow. of ruined the uh, entire city of Burbank. It kind of sucks, dude. It like really fucks up the street. Oh, it ruined the whole city of Burbank. <laughs> okay. Wow, I thought there was like dude. a party or something when I drove by. That's eating the crinkle fries. That uh, it ruined the city of Burbank. Mm. Fuck it, dude. It is so good. I'm just jealous because I can't even get close to a a little chicken meal. I'm pissed, dude. Remember when you came? and visited me when I was shooting uh, Pitch Perfect and me and you went down and just smashed some Raising Canes. Smashed in Baton Rouge, baby. Ooh. Shout out to Baton Rouge. You know, Raisin Baton Rouge canes. is where the first Raising Canes was. Well, no, so here's my question. Is this is a Raisin restaurant? What is this? <laughs> oh it's, uh, okay, very <laughs> so good. good. I love that. Full, yes, full points. <laughs> so wait, if you're in Baton Rouge, where I imagine yes, there's points. like... Sorry, go ahead. Maybe legit Thanks. local restaurants that make this kind of thing, and you're hitting a Raising Cane's. Like, is Raising mm-hmm. Cane's better than, like, J- Jim Bob's Chicken Shack? Uh, it's a local restaurant. Raising Cane's is from Baton Rouge. No, I know, but, like, I'm saying, like, if you're down there, isn't, like, the other... Like, this is a well, chain. I mean, I was there for months and months, so it's not like yeah. I only ate at the Raising Cane's, but Raising Cane's is, like, a great late night, you're drunk... You're getting you're getting food. Get that. I get that. Is there another place that you went to that maybe we can franchise to mm. battle? Durs is trying to compete. He's trying to start. Oh well, yeah. Mm. They. Ha- I mean, Chimes. Chimes is a dope oh, yeah. local. Uh, Ooh, Chimes. Chimes. Yeah, Baton Rouge restaurant bar. See, I like that. Ooh. That's where I had a chugging contest with all the the college kids. Sure. And mm-hmm. I beat like seven or eight kids in a row chugging like beers and yeah, then bro. they're like oh whatever kevin kevin wait till kevin gets here kevin looked like he was 14 years old this kid right. shows up and he was like wearing his pajamas like he was at home like in like bed they called him and then his friends are like you have to come down here the guy from workaholics is beating us all in beer chugging competitions <laughs> yeah. Let's and go. then he comes down th- he was so youthful looking and he weighed like 95 pounds i'm like i'm gonna fucking destroy this kid i'll do it he swallowed the beer hole <laughs> he right. was just like He's stuck a hole fuck a glass in his mouth and swallowed it. That just means there's no gag reflex. <laughs> okay, Durs. Yeah, and I'm not, not much of it. Yeah. That's what it is. They just they just open it, they just throat that beer. And it just pours yeah. Did we be have- so good at sucking what's that? <laughs> beer. <laughs> Salami sandwich. Yeah. Like, uh, did we touch upon when I came out to visit you at at uh, the set of Pitch Perfect and was kicking it in Baton Rouge and Let's touch upon it? Let's touch upon. It was crazy, dude. It was a whirlwind. Like I, we showed up to this bar where it was crazy. Like you already know, like when I when I get on one, like I'm ready to go. And yeah. they were in, dangerous. They were encouraging well, my bad behavior. Dude, they to made set me- the scene, it was like a kind of a dangerous place to be. I mean, there's a reason I gained 25 pounds and looked like a fucking, uh, you know. Yeah. Just a f- fucking bag house. of goo uh, yeah. by the end of the movie. Depression, um, like because yeah. like an, a healthy not depression. Infant. I had too much fun. <laughs> I I, with you. <laughs> fucking with you. Sorry. Season one just I came out because I'm on So we were very popular with like college kids. I'm yeah. shooting on the LSU campus, so I'm yeah. at the huge party school, LSU, which has a Shaq statue, and that which has a Shaq statue. I can't emphasize that enough. so tight. And then season two comes out while we were there, while Blake was visiting. So it was yes. like a full on shit show, and we yeah. were just partying at like college bars. <laughs> what was that bar? Do you remember the name of it? I mean, I mean, there's a handful of bars uh, right there, and uh, the place is called Tigerland. Yes. So it's like mm-hmm. a, a gravel parking lot with like five or six bars around the outside of this giant parking lot. Mm-hmm. And we pu- we rolled up with like I'm I'm like oh, okay I'm coming out here with this acapella crew like me and Adam will be the showstoppers, but people hung super tough, and we rolled into this bar, and they were like. Like, stand up on the bar. Like, here's a bottle of Lea- Jaeger. You can pour shots into everybody's mouth. I'm like, I'm not, w- like, what is even happening? Then, then like, right. they, yeah, so remember, Blake like, the- was like chugging, and then he <laughs> threw the bottle against dude. the bar and it shattered everywhere. And, dude, no. and oh my God. No, dude, they, <laughs> they're like, I the bottle. Like is- so I'm, no, I'm pouring the bottle into people's mouths and it runs out. And I'm like, it ran out. It ran out. And the bartender's like, cocktail, cocktail. Throw it against the wall. And I'm like, 
are you serious? <laughs> I can do that? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I just freaking launch it, shatter against the wall, having the best time of li- my yeah. life. Then they Very like dangerous. send me up to the the DJ booth. I, all I know is like, play Lil Boosie, like play Lil Webby. Like uh, it's, it was so fucking fun. <laughs> all the littles were played. All the littles. It was, it was insane. It was one of the best times I've had. Definitely Baton Rouge, yeah. Louisiana. Damn. Bat, Baton Rouge at that time. Now it wouldn't be fun. Now if we went, we're too old now. We were it's at hectic. the perfect age. We were like right. what, 26 <laughs> or 27, something like that. So we're like, we're still young enough to hang at a college bar. It's not like yeah. right. super weird. Right. Yeah. Not even thinking about the hangover. But now we're in our late 30s. If we go <laughs> to a college bar and are just wilding out, people are like, what the fuck is going on? These <laughs> This dad is going insane. His dad is they're like, dude, drink water, dude. You should drink some water, dude. I keep <laughs> screaming, play Taking Back Sunday. And they're like, no, we're good. <laughs> what is this? It I love madness. oldies. It was madness. It was total madness. I remember when we were in the Ozarks, that was the closest thing I've been to like a bar bar in years. And oh, they God. were giving out free waters. And I was fucking pumped, dude. Oh, I yeah, was like, dude. yo, look at all these waters. Because it was one million degrees out, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we'd been on yeah. jet skis. That was like a health thing. They were like, so everyone, you have to drink or else we got to close down. Did we have liquid IVs at the time? Shout out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did them did dry. We? Adam, Dude, the rats loved my liquid IV. Uh, oh, boy. Adam did the powder a- shot on the, on, the, on the Ozarks pod. That's right. Yeah. Damn, mm-hmm. dude. What's up? Yeah. We haven't done a liquid IV. Now we, we miss you, liquid IV. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to us. Don't worry. I got like, I want to say 10 bags behind yeah. me, and that's just. I'm literally the- drinking it right now. It's the best. Yeah. <laughs> All my right. Rat, the rats uh, in my storage facility are so hydrated right now. Mm-hmm. So yeah. they yeah, they they won't have to drink water for for years. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to drink water anymore. You just have to eat powder. Yeah, you just chug yeah. the powder. Just nibble on the powder, baby. Mm-hmm. Well, if you guys are available, we are going to throw a big party uh for my for my dad to celebrate the one year um uh being cancer free in like the Ozarks. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, coming God. up soon, so it would be. Is this for the audience? Like anybody can show up. Like, is yeah, that's what I was like. Are you talking to us or? I, I'm talking to you guys specifically, <laughs> but yeah, if anyone wants to. Okay, okay. Let's the we're gonna have the address go across the bottom of the screen right now. <laughs> but if anyone is in Lake of the Ozarks the first week of August and sees <laughs> me out and about, that's Dude. what I'm there to celebrate for. And feel free to uh, come up and give my dad a big old bear hug and say mm. thank you for. Being Let's go. Right. That shit's important. Dang, that is sick, dude. The open invitation. Then he gets COVID. <laughs> and uh, he just had COVID. I think he's in the clear to uh, to be COVID free. Nice. Thank God he got COVID. And I was like, oh, no. Like, that's the last thing he needs. He just right. got done with all of his cancer treatments. And then he was like, totally fine. Like, right. di- didn't even have a cough or anything. Was just like, yeah, yeah I'm fucking good. That's crazy. I'm immortal, baby. I'm like, all right, chill out. <laughs> yeah, That shit's important. <laughs> yeah. That is actually right. crazy. That would have been really scary, but no. Just wheeling and dealing. Dennis That's D, what, baby. Did you say scary butt? Blake's so scared. <laughs> I do. I'm a really scared. You know. You know the mm. drill. I'm a really scared, he says. Uh, you know me. Sick. I'm a really scared. So, guys, everyone listening right now, what's <laughs> happening now is that we really don't know how long we've been going. Yeah. What is, what? <laughs> no, I know. We've been going about 40 minutes. We've been going about 40 minutes. Shot clock, baby. Okay, so you clocked when we started. Yeah. Good wow. I just see the yeah, I see the time, the clock, and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, it's got to be close. We got to mm-hmm. be winding Tuffy. this up at some point, you know. You know, mm-hmm. we, let's do 10 minutes on just like just the end of a podcast. Like, yeah, the thing sure. about the end of a podcast is like it's so different than the beginning for me. I agree. There's a come down. It's harder. It's harder than the beginning. Honestly, it's tougher to get through. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I love. And I, do you I, love sunsets? I like the dismount. I yeah. I'm kind of more of an ending guy. Yeah, Maybe that's I why this like... pod works so much. Kyle comes in so hot up top, and then uh-huh. Adam and I really, and then Durs is just we we heat up. I like we... to tickle the middle. <laughs> yeah, Durs. I like is to tickle always. the ribs. Durs is the glue, baby. Durs keeps it bouncing. Aww. You know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. 
Elmer's. Well, go, I mean sticks, sticks, not bouncing. Sticky. He's like glue. Mm-hmm. Pizza, pizza. Yeah, really yeah, good, yeah. Kyle. Good, good way to end, man. You're. I don't get it. You're actually heating up. You're hot at the <laughs> yeah. end today. I'm coming back. You know, I heard that you thought I don't end on a good, a good note, and so I'm bye back. <laughs> and that's a sentence. I like that Correct. we were able to do one live podcast together. It, yeah. it felt really nice being in the same room as you guys. You guys didn't seem to like it when we started. You guys were kind of taking the piss out of it, and I was a little bit like... I didn't like it as much, to be honest. I was kind really? of like, are we really? Well, why didn't you like it as much? What 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 made you not like it? Yeah, Durs. I didn't, I didn't like the setup. I didn't like the setup. There was too much shit between us. Our yes. setup wasn't the best. I feel like if we really... we You know, if we were in town together, like a lot of these podcasts that you see... Yeah. Uh, we're just we're always out of town, so we can't physically be in the same room together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, this is the best setup for this podcast. But if we were to be in the same town as each other, we would build like a stage, and there'd be oh, like yeah. two, two to two, and it, you know. I yeah. got oh, I, I feel like a hot tub with the mics coming from behind us. Give me that. And what we're I'm all just in a about. hot tub talking to each other. Too hot for the hot tub, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or a wrinkly. cold plunge, maybe. I don't know. I just was like. I got we got laptops between us. We have all these mic arms and shit. Yeah. Like, have you guys cold plunged? I just did it. Uh, I've I've done it a couple times, but I've done it for a few days in a row now, and I'm like three days in a row. It's supposed to be great for your immune system, dude. It feels so good. I like I'm like an old guy now, and I wrinkly balls <laughs> tweaked something in my in my neck by mm-hmm. sleeping on the couch too hard. Yeah, I was like, I like <laughs> fell in the sleep, and I was like, I was like kind of drunk, and fell asleep on the couch, and then woke up after 50 minutes and tried to adjust myself, and then pinch something, and then it still hurts. That was like yeah. two weeks ago, uh, and then the cold plunge, baby, it feels so much better as soon as I get out uh, from it. Where are you plunging, and how cold? Uh, Tony Cavallero, who plays Keith on the Righteous Gemstones, yeah. uh, has one. And then he also has an infrared sauna at his house. So we yeah. go and we go back and forth. Uh, and yeah. Tony's on another level. Yeah. He's a real legend, that guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is. The infrared saunas, I've heard of I've heard of those. Do you like it? I mean, I, I've only heard it for autoimmune disorders. That's what it's... Uh, no, it's just for, for relaxation purposes as well. It doesn't need to be for, like, diseases, but... Uh, I heard it helps that, though, but that's... Dope. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it does. Yeah. There's, like, a long list of stuff that it, it helps. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm at that age now that I'm, like... Believe anything? I understand. No, I was like, you know how, like, you'd go over to some someone's house and their dad just has, like, a ton of massagers. He's, like, a foot massager oh, and, yeah. a, put and, a, and a chair out, right? with a back yeah. massager yeah. and there's all the shit. And I'm like, why the fuck does he have all this stuff? And he's got the uh, Tanga egg. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm at that age now where I'm like, I, I like... Yeah, gadgets and gizmos, yeah. Gadgets and things to help me feel better. Self-care, I'm into it, bro. I mean, yes, the Theragun is a must. My body is falling apart. The, the Theragun is really dope. It definitely, you cannot put that on your dick. It would d- annihilate you can. your testicles. You can. <laughs> I thought you liked the Mash It Down Wait. Mondays, though. Don't you like Mash It Down Mondays? Yeah. Dude, it punched so hard. <laughs> Wait, why why did you go I was talking about like back massagers. Why are you putting it on your dick? Well, what do you do with massagers? Cuz you got to try it. Yeah, because when I was a kid, I remember like the massage wands and they were my best friend when I was a youngster. What dude. does that mean? Please tell I, me more. Oh, you were one of those little weirdos. Yeah, man, Brookstone meant a whole other thing to me. You're just sticking that up, sticking that up your ass. Sharper image <laughs> meant a whole other thing to me, man. I love that your parents were like, "Where's the Cause I, cause I need it. <laughs> hey, why does it smell again? Why? That, it's it, how do you smell this? Huh? It's got a funk to it. Like it feels. I, like, I don't know. I keep, I keep cleaning it. A little bit like chlorine or something. Yeah. What is that? It's a dank. It's a dank, dank it's, smell. I'm not using bleach. It's like a bleach. <laughs> yeah. It's like. A and bleach. also kind of a poop smell. Yeah. It sort of smells like what? shit. <laughs> Did the dog get a hold of this? Uh, it smells like shit, right? Why huh. does the massage want? <laughs> Now, did the dog get a hold of this? I think the dog must have got a hold of this. <laughs> did the, was the dog sitting on this, or is it in the backyard? Is it on the ground? Why does the vibrating massage pillow smell like poop? <laughs> Blake, get down here! <laughs> get down here, Blake! Did the dog uh, drag this through my cum? Is Blake sticking it up his ass again? <laughs> Someone just cuts to the chase. <laughs> God damn it, Blake! <laughs> <laughs>
He's the best. Dude, that's what they're for. Don't don't trip. That's really yeah. what they're for. Yeah. I, w- I was reading like a, one of those catalogs that comes to your house and it has like a picture of a woman with like oh the my one on her, on her neck, you know, and she's just mm-hmm. like enjoying the vibration. And then it says like, <laughs> there's like a quote from a, you know, like someone who bought it and her name is Gina, but I'm like, Gina. Damn, Gina. Vagina. I know what you guys are doing here. <laughs> Damn, Gina. <laughs> Works perfectly. It's Gina. Gina. Wait, what was that from? 40-year-old virgin? <laughs> yeah, she kills it. Mo? She was on our show. She sure was. Mo Collins. She came in hot. I love when we had guest stars who brought heat. They've been posting that picture of um, dude whose name escapes me right now, but he was the Doo-doo. junkyard owner. He was on- Oh, Mel. Last- oh, Mel Rodriguez. Mel, Mel yeah. Rodriguez. Yeah. That dude. fucking scene is so good. Who just brought- Heat and was doing all sorts of weird shit. Lightsaber. Yeah, your doo doo puss. Your doo doo puss. Yeah, yeah, just how he said, I mean, his line delivery was great. And he also added a ton of great stuff. Dude, but like, yeah. just how he said, like, whipped out the, uh, it was from season one, and we're in the junkyard, and he catches us. Yeah, B Rat episode. And uh, he whips out, what is that, the Cubaton? And uh, is that what it's called? A baton? Yeah, it's like the extending baton. Yeah, extending yeah. baton stick. And he then says, <laughs> uh, <laughs> light <laughs> saber. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how he Dude. delivered that line made me laugh so fucking hard. I yeah. mean, fun fact, he was kind of second place to be Montez, dude. We we brought him into audition for Montez, and he killed that Is that as right? Well. I don't yeah, remember Yeah, dude. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mel was in uh, the running would have been, be Would have been better. Would have been better. Yeah, probably would have been yeah. much, yeah, much, we much better. Liked yeah, we would have liked him. Would have gone to that wedding. Uh, yeah. What <laughs> what's cool is Eric. <laughs> I would have gone to both. Eric is going to hit us up. Eric Griffin is going to hit us up and be like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Fuck and y'all. We'll hey, I went, wow, to, I went to his dude. wedding. I went there. I saw it. Yeah. Can we get the update? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. For, thank you for representing. It was great. You know, you, I guess you guys, if you, if you weren't there, then you missed it. You know, I'm not going to go in and tell you guys what it was. It was great. It was uh, very nice. I honestly would have liked to be there. Eric is a friend of mine, and I was... It was fantastic dude i had to be in charleston so i would have been i was at my own brother's wedding (laughs) yes and blake chose not to go blake Blake committed to go and then he committed to going and then decided not to yeah there actually was a name there was an empty seat at the table (laughs) i was at and it said blake anderson yeah i think it was you that's That's kind of a dickhead move that means you rsvp'd and then didn't show yep Mm -hmm. yep 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 and i'd love to get into it but it looks like we're running out of time (laughs) (laughs) i don't know this is important (laughs) wow wow it was beautiful i would like to give flowers to kyle for going to our friend eric griffin's wedding right Uh, thank you for supporting I would have liked to have been there. Uh, So I just want to say thank you for being the the one to to wave the flag for Team MOC. Yep. Thank you, buddy. Yep. Happy to do it. Happy to do it. Happy to. And did you wear your leather satchel? Satchel? (laughs) Of course. (laughs) What do you mean? I saw pictures and I'm like, wow, uh, you clean up nice. And then you just had like the leather satchel on top of. A, like I clean up nice, but then what the leather satchel Wet, wedding attire? This like is the, real leather. The leather satchel dirties up the. I know it's a wands. So the leather satchel is a is like a purse. A, is that from a wand? Uh, it's like a purse, right? Yeah, this is from a wand custom leather. If you ever see me rocking this, I know, and he makes he makes good stuff. I just didn't mm-hmm. know if it was. It doesn't know. I don't know if it was uh, <laughs> appropriate. I don't even understand what you're talking about right now. I bring <laughs> this thing everywhere. I was wedding ready. I I agree with you, Durs. I don't know, but I looked good. I looked good though. I had on the pink pants. You had a great outfit on, and then I just <laughs> yeah, I fucking crushed. Then you were also wearing like this seven. <laughs> Connect like this seven point connected man satchel. <laughs> it's got two and points. And it just kind of. <laughs> All right. Two points, cool shape. Yeah. So, oh, so I'm five points off. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's a cool, it, I just thought yeah. that thing was kind of nice for, I mean, I thought it was nice for dress. Like I wasn't wearing a suit or anything, but you wear it all the time. You know, I was just wearing a button up. So I thought it fit like kind of like Indiana Jones. I was like basically rocking <laughs> linens. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. And okay. when you go to weddings, is- everyone wants Indiana Jones. <laughs> Make sure you look like Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> At their wedding. Absolutely. He was ready for anything, man. He was yeah. ready for anything. 
I wonder if the bride saw you and she was like, oh, fuck, I was wearing that. God damn it. I have to take off. <laughs> For sure. Because it's a wedding. And I have that's to take off my bum, leather bum, satchel. Bum. Honestly, though, my wife, bum, my wife bum, didn't bum, wear bum, her. She, didn't, she brought a purse that did not match her outfit because we were traveling and she didn't bring it. And a lot of people were talking about it or what? Whoa. You're going to air her out like that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Shit. So you know what I ended up doing? You know what I ended up doing with my purse? I put her stuff that she needed in my purse. So I was holding mm. stuff for her in my purse. You had a purse on a mm. purse? So um, purse on a cool. person, and hey. that person was me. And I looked fucking good, and I represented the MOC, while none of you guys yes. even bothered to show up. I would have loved to have been there. We know the story. <laughs> Couldn't make it. Thank you. You got your flowers. Yes, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh this is what I felt like when I was getting out of the car, dude. This <laughs> Do you take this woman to be your bride? I work. <laughs> weddings. Why did it have to be weddings? Here comes the bride. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hey, Jacques. Uh, other there's a bouquet up here. Bax, apologies. Um, I had a hat on, but I took it off because I thought it was too much. Well, I'll, shoot. I'll, I'll, I'll apologize to Eric Griffin for not going to the wedding. And uh, I called him and FaceTimed him and apologized that way as well, and I mm-hmm. love you, bud, and you're a really great friend. And um, Indiana! and what was the what was the reason? What was the reason? It's just a lot of stuff. I, I can't uh, even like some stuff. I can't even okay. say on air. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> Under wraps. <laughs> a lot of secrets. <laughs> Blake has a lot of secrets. Suddenly, can't, this is can't let, yeah. let us know. Yeah. Can't let us know a lot of things. I'm I'm excited to find your secret uh, TikTok account. Um, do you want to take back or apologize? It's just feet. It's just like weird shit. I, I apologize. That was an apology to mm, me. Okay. <laughs> 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 I was offended. You. Didn't. I'd like to shout out All One Custom Leather again. Absolutely. Go mm-hmm. on to Instagram. He is just a maverick with his leather work. And if you mm-hmm. want to. Make mm. something that's custom? He does mm. it. Hence the mm. name. Yes. This is a friend Hello. that goes way back all the way to elementary school. He's a Concord native. He makes great stuff. I wear my Adam custom leather belt every day. It hasn't even shown one fucking sign of shredding, dude. Mm-hmm. It's great. Oh and so this that's guy. what Kyle wore to a wedding. <laughs> yes. And it's a, it is an aggressive, it is an aggressive bag. Look, at, there's so many pockets. I like that Kyle was like ready to like... I mean, what? It, what? If you wore that into a bank, security should stop. You. <laughs> people think yeah. it's a gun. People think it's a whole. Yeah, I know. I yeah. See people clock it like many times. I'm like, no, no, it's just holding my iPad. No, no. Ma'am. <laughs> yeah, we're not at all. We're not at all shitting on Awan Custom Leather here, Kyle. We're just like, this isn't. A- no, it looks good. No, I get it. I get it. This is an aggressive leather bag that looks like. like a holster. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. If Kyle wears it on <laughs> set, I get like he's a director. He has to have things nearby. I right. His iPad, iPad Mini's in there or something. I I get it. I get it. I know. I get it. I get it. Uh, to a wedding, it is a absolutely yeah. hilarious thing to wear to the wedding, and I'm so <laughs> happy under, that under, you look, did it. I understand. I'd like to give you flowers for yeah. wearing it. Well, you I know what? I understand. It, and I it was think very funny. I understand. And how long have you been falconing? <laughs> I understand that it was probably not the right choice for the wedding, for especially when everyone else is dressed so nice. Oh my but yeah. I Bad also th- dates. I also think it's very cool that Durs brought that up because I need to be checked sometimes. Fur line? You know, I do need to be checked. I need to yeah. be grounded by my homeboys and it's just your your fashion choices. It was like when we used to take meetings and you would it, you'd be like a tank top and there'd be like a hole in the tank top where your like right. nipples just hanging out and you're like yes. And I'd, I'd be like, yo, Kyle, we're like going to a meeting. Like, it's ABC family. Exec- executives. <laughs> Maybe we just put something where your armpit hair isn't coming out the sides. And you'd, right. you'd be pretty offended by that. My chest hair, my yeah, chest hair go, would come yeah. out the top. It would always yeah. be- <laughs> I'm like, your um, armpit hair is like oozing, f- coming out the front like you were a Nickelodeon character. Yeah. I mean, having said that, no regrets with every- okay. anything I've put on my body ever because I rule. <laughs> Yeah, true. Yes, hey, fast. forward 2000 and early to all this shit. You watch people <laughs> yeah. wearing leather bags to weddings and oh, yeah. I remember yeah. that in, in the near future. Oh. All right. Cut to oh. commercial. <laughs> <laughs> cut cut to the no, end. This is the end. Anyone else take back apologies? Dead ringers? Uh, I'm pissed yeah. now. I had a dead ringer. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, a dead ringer Indiana Jones. <laughs> it was a trip with yeah. well, and shout out to uh the guy who played Waymond in Everywhere All at Once whatever. 
uh, Goonies from Goonies fame. He's short round and from Goonies, yeah. and his voice is iconic. As soon as you hear yes. him talk, you're like, "Holy fuck!" It's short round and Data. Yes. Dude's a legend. Dude's a legend. I love it. What do we wait? <laughs> gotta oh, see yeah. it. Gotta see that movie. We got a note from our producer, Data. Yes, thank you. What? Okay. She said, Stop playing the Indiana Jones music. <laughs> Is, 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 is important. important. Oh, Kyle, Kyle, take the ending. Take the ending, Kyle. Take the ending, yeah. Kyle. Yeah, Kyle, come on. Do something what up? Cool. <laughs> do something cool for the ending. <laughs> Kyle, do something cool for the ending. Oh, uh, yeah, close listen, this strong. has been another production of <laughs> iHeartRadio, coming to you strong and in surround sound. So if you. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love it. Oh, really good. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch.